So, let me just uh, pause this. So what you're hearing there is uh, some background music and uh, this was uh, a really nice thing that uh, a guy on the group sent me. Uh, this is Junaid Malik, whose name I probably butchered. Um, I think I pronounced that correctly. Uh, so he, he makes background music for games and he's, he's um, uh, I think currently in the process of releasing his, his first game. Um, and I'll put a I'll put a link in the description and on the group for that. But he sent me some uh, some music, uh, which I've imported into the project here. And uh, what I've done is I've written uh, this um, background music script, which basically you give it a list of tracks to play, and it basically just loops through playing random music. Okay, so if we pop into Visual Studio, and just make it a little bit bigger for you guys. Um, get rid of that. What we got is our background music player. So this requires a component of audio source. Um, it uh, has a private uh, variable linking to that. It has an array of audio clips called tracks and it has a public int current track. The reason I've got that is so that uh, here I can just in debugging see what the current track is. Let's go back here. Okay, so oh, and basically, uh, so yeah, okay, we get the start menu, uh, start menu, the start uh, method. What this does is it gets the audio source component and it sets the volume to one. This will obviously be a volume slider control somewhere at some point, um, and then it starts the play music coroutine, uh, and this is basically it. This is all it does. So what it does is loops forever. It uh, sets integer i to the current track, which will start off as zero. It then, while i is equal to the current track, it keeps picking random i's uh, from the range of zero to the total number of tracks. Uh, and the reason we're doing this here is because I don't want it to play the same track over and over again. Uh, and then I've got the current track uh, is now equal to i. So that basically then updates this value. Then get in the audio clip. Uh, get an audio clip will clip from the tracks array at the index that we've just got. And then we are setting the music source. I mean, I've spelt that source as in like ketchup, haven't I? Yeah, I have. That's that should be. Uh... <laughs> Viva la dyslexia! O u r c e. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta get some of that music source. Okay, uh, so it sets the clip of the music source to the clip we just randomly selected, and then it sends play. And then what we're doing is we're yielding, waiting for seconds, uh, the clip length. Or in this case, 20, while I was just doing that quick demo of it rolling around. So if I remove that, put that back in. Oh, actually, no, I wanna talk through the function. So if I do that, if we go back, when setting this up, I set the track uh, the track array size to 4. I then added in the tracks by basically just dragging and dropping them from the from the asset manager. Uh, I then I did have originally have an audio listener on this, but I now uh, I've gone back to using the audio listener on the camera. And you can see current track defaults to 0. So when we play, it will go through and it will pick that random number. So it's picked one in this case, and it will start playing track index one, which is the the second track in the array. So then it will wait uh, twenty seconds, and then it will re-ran re-roll that random number. We put that on so you can hear it as well. It'll then re-roll that random number like that, and it's now picked track zero, which is this first track, and it will carry on doing that for forever. Okay, great guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.